Hi guys, welcome. This is going to be um, a Rider weight video. So I actually got this comment probably, I don't know if it was yesterday or the night before. Um, I got a comment on one of my other deck reveal videos where someone was asking to see um, if I did a show and tell of the vintage, the tarot vintage. So I thought, let's just do a video today. <laughs> um, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you guys the tarot vintage. Um, I actually, <clears throat> excuse me, I acquired this deck, um, maybe it was a couple weeks ago. It's very new. Um, and I haven't done a show and tell on it. So let's talk about it. Oh my gosh. I have like orbs flying everywhere. And I think some of it, some of it is orbs. Some of it is dust. Some of it is cat hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a blend of of everything so sorry if you see like little pieces of dust or cat hair flying everywhere um anyways oh my gosh anyways um so let's talk about the tarot vintage so this is the tarot vintage um I did a I, I posted it was yesterday so I posted yesterday a video reading that I did for a client and they gave me permission to make it public so you guys could see um and I was actually using this deck so the tarot vintage it is um a low scarabeo deck it is literally by okay so it's by Sasha Graham who is a tarot reader and she also creates decks this is literally a beautiful deck. It's a beautiful edition of the Rider Waite. Um, and it has the cutest little box. So it comes with a box. And it's a little hard to open. I will say this. It doesn't have like the little knobs on the sides to open it. So it is a little hard to open. Um, and it comes with <clears throat> title card and all of that. It also comes with the guidebook. So yes, there is a little guidebook. If you're into looking up the little keywords and stuff, there is a guidebook included. Um, and the cards have really, really pretty backs. They have the lilies. So they have the lily backs. They also have the little death flower in the center. Um, and they have, so the cards are like kind of like a sepia card stock color um, made to look vintage. I really, really love the card backs on this. This kind of reminds me of um, the, what is it called? The Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. They kind of have similar card backs if I remember correctly. Um, but I really, really love it. So you have these sepia looking card stocks. Doesn't have um, any edges or anything like that. It's just regular. And then you have the vintage look of the Rider weight. So the thing about this deck is you get pops of color. Um, the theme of color throughout the cards is very minimal. So you get greens, oranges, yellows, like a, like a real mustard yellow. You get some blues, but pretty much it's like the same kind of, whoops, the same kind of pop of color throughout the deck. So um, I don't know if like, you would classify this as like mono, is it called monochrome? I'm not sure if that's the right word. Um, but what I've noticed is not all of the image is filled in in color. So like, for example, the strength card, you have the lion, he's full color. You have the maiden who she has her dress is colored and everything, but the background is not. The background is just the black and white line work. So that was actually something that, that I noticed while I was reading with the deck. Um, and it actually kind of makes the main characters of the cards pop out. So it doesn't really bother me. Um, the gorgeous hermit, of course, the sky in the background is this beautiful blue, like a teal, kind of like a teal blue. Um, and then the little star and the lantern is lit up, but everything else is just kind of fades away. So, um, I actually really like this. I love the cards. I love the card stock. The card stock is kind of thick. It's, um, it will definitely like leave a, a warp in the cards. Like if you shuffle them too much, um, it will definitely warp the cards, which I don't mind but it is a thicker card stock. Um, and I don't know, I really like it. So <laughs> the other thing that I noticed about these cards is the background of the 
um, images. You have kind of like the um, vintage, almost like a, like an antique or a vintage photo. If there was like an error in the in the photo print, it kind of looks like that. Um, and if, again, the background is like a sepia, yellowy, tannish color. Um, so yeah, I really like it. Um, so if you guys were seeing this deck in action, or if you want to go back on my previous video, I do have a spirit and soul reading that I did for a client that I posted public and I do use these cards. So you can see them in action. Like you can see how they look on camera. You could see how they look in a reading. Um, really, really pretty. So that is the vintage tarot. Now I brought some other decks out to kind of show you a little side by side. Um, the backs really remind me of the original Rider Waite. <laughs> um, obviously it's like the same thing. Um, the original Rider Waite has the blue and white lilies. Same thing with the, the card backs of the vintage, the tarot vintage. Um, obviously though, the colors and the cards are so different. So, um, you could see a full color versus like, just like pieces, bits and pieces of the image being in color. You could just see like the huge difference just like that. Um, but I actually really like the way, the way this looks. So there's another little side by side. And I just noticed this actually, the cards are, no, actually, no, they're about the same size. You know what it is though? The original is a little bit wider. So the Tarot Vintage is a little bit thinner than the um, original Tarot. So yeah, that's the difference. So I was like, there's something different here. <laughs> so the images are a little bit skinnier. Um, Let me show you. Let's, let's look at the High Priestess. Look at that. Beautiful, right? So High Priestess. I really like, I really like this deck. Um, you could see same thing here with the Empress. She's colored in, her face is colored in. This Empress, her face, her skin is not colored in. So it's kind of like picks and chooses for each one. Um, what part of the image is going to be full color. Um, here's one that actually kind of, was kind of a little a weird choice to me in my opinion um is the emperor so norm normally we're used to like all the reds in the emperor but in this one he's only it's just his sash like his clothing that is in red and it's not even like this like red red color so i was a little bit surprised by that because usually the emperor is very much um depicted as a very red figure because red is the color of you know power and red is the color of um just the essence that that the emperor is trying to portray so that was interesting to me but yeah it's a very muted washed out kind of a deck it's something more subtle so if you're looking for something subtle rather than having like a full-blown color deck this might be an option for some of you guys that you guys might actually be really interested in um Obviously, like when I'm looking at it side by side with like the full color, obviously my eyes are drawn to the full color. I love that those images better. Um, but if you're working with a deck, like an Oracle deck that is like full blown color and really bright, um, using something like this with more subtlety actually kind of works. Um, so let me show you another deck that... I feel would be it's kind of similar to the tarot vintage is the Rider Waite Smith tarot deck. This is the Pamela Coleman Smith's RWS tarot deck. Um, so this one came out. This is by US Games. This one came out sometime last year, I think. Um, and it's kind of like the gray version of Rider Waite. Um, and so I pulled out the majors so that we could take a look. The card backs look like this. Nothing too special. They're, they're nice card backs. I, I actually really prefer the lilies and stuff. I, I don't know. This is okay, <laughs> but not my favorite. Um, oh my gosh. Is this like orbs or cat fair? I don't think it's cat fur. 
I really do feel like I have a lot of orbs in this room, but I do notice like if I move around, you know, sometimes like the dust or my hair or something will spark it. Sorry, this is so off on a tangent, but I've just been noticing it in my videos that I have a lot of like orbs and sometimes it's literally spirit. And then there's other times where it's like it's dust or whatever, but I've, I've been noticing it a lot. Anyways, sorry guys. <laughs> So this is what the cards look like. So this is this deck. I call it the gray tarot. <laughs> um, and you can see they're super, super, super muted. Um, very faint coloring gray. It's almost like there's a gray layer over the cards to kind of like really mute out those colors. Um, and I do kind of see similarities with the two. So here's, here they are side by side. So this, these colors will pop a lot more obviously than these. So this is just a, a very muted version of Rider Waite, but here we go. But the thing about these muted decks is these look really, really pretty. Side by side, a super bright Oracle deck. So for example, I have my Black Moon Oracle because I was using this um, in my workshop that I did this morning with my group. But the cards are really bright. <laughs> so if you're using an Oracle deck where the artwork is just super, super bright, it actually kind of looks pretty to match if you're going to use a tarot deck, to match a tarot deck that is a little bit more faded. Um, I just think it kind of helps the colors pop and it just looks, it looks balanced. Um, here's the, uh, the vintage one. You see what I mean? Like it kind of balances everything out versus like having a bright ass tarot card <laughs> and a bright Oracle deck it kind of like it takes away from the artwork in the Oracle card. Um, so that's just my opinion. Like sometimes I'm very mindful of things like that, especially if I'm taking a picture, if I'm like photographing cards for a post or for someone's, especially for the email readings. Um, I like to kind of have a balance of super bright cards and then something more softer, um, or putting like a black and white deck with something like really vibrant just to balance it out. So that's kind of a little tip <laughs> that I do. Um, and it's also a way to make these more like muted decks to make it work. Cause I know sometimes it's kind of a turnoff. Um, when you see these in person, you're kind of like, Ugh, like it's not very pretty. Like this isn't pretty. I don't think this is really pretty. Like when I look at it, I'm like, Ugh, it looks kind of sick, like sickly, you know, it's not very like it's not alive, you know? Um, but then when you match it with something bright, like an Oracle deck, something bright in your reading, it does kind of fit. So <laughs> that's just a little tip. Um, but yeah, really, really beautiful cards. You guys look at this moon, the moon card. This is the tarot vintage. So the moon card is so pretty. I love that they kept the sky blue because if they would have made that just like, you know, black and or if they would have not colored it in, I would have been a little upset because uh, <laughs> I think the moon card, you need to see that contrast. There's the sun. Really, really pretty. And they also kept for the star as well. So really, really pretty. I love Rider Waite. I, I could just talk about it forever. <laughs> I really, really love it. Um, okay, let me see what else. This is the gray deck. See that? So just something to think about. So yeah, I, um, I bought this deck and I wasn't sure. Honestly, like when I bought it, I bought it kind of for the intention of it's a Rider White that I don't own. Like it's a version and I, I collect Rider White decks. Like I have literally over here in that 
bookcase right here. <laughs> I have all of my like just different editions of Rider Waite. I like to collect Rider Waite decks. Um, it's just my favorite. So, and I use them, like I use them in my readings. So I thought, you know, I wanted to kind of see what everything was about with the, the tarot vintage and that's why I purchased it. And I thought, honestly, I thought I wasn't going to like it because um, even though I do use the gray one, <laughs> this one, um, if I'm not pairing it with something bright, I won't pick it up because it just doesn't call to me. Like, it's just not as attractive. Obviously, like it, a full, a full blown color deck is so attractive. Um, but I actually really like this. I like it. It makes it work. And I feel like this, this kind of, um, this edition of the Rider Waite, in my opinion, I feel like this would make a really good fall deck. So fall season, if you are, you know, looking for Rider Waite decks that you could use for the fall, I recommend black and white decks. I recommend black decks. Um, so like a black card back with white lines or vice versa, white and black. Um, and then I also recommend the, the tarot vintage now that I have it, definitely this will come out in the fall. Um, and as well as this one, I would pull this one out for the fall as well. I feel like the gray, the muted colors really kind of go. Um, so these are kind of more of my like quiet decks versus like the loud stuff. This one is kind of year round <laughs> or more of a summer deck. I really love the yellows in this one. So really, really pretty. But yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys. I love talking tarot. I love talking about Rider Waite. Um, I think that my Rider Waite videos are probably the most viewed out of all of the videos that I have in my in my shop or in my shop, in my channel. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably the most content that people like to see is my tarot stuff. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and again, too, like I, like I said, I saw someone leave a comment asking if I made a video about this deck and I didn't. So I thought, let me just film it really quick before I start working on some readings. Um, so here you go. So my love that asked for that, here you go. This was for you. Um, anyone else who's watching my videos or you have questions or you would like to see me film something specific, let me know. Um, because I'm always looking for video ideas. So I'm always listening. I'm always watching I read every single comment that is placed. I may not respond to all of them, but I definitely, you know, I take all of your guys' input into consideration. <laughs> so that said, I'm going to go and work on an email reading and I will talk to you guys soon. I will see you guys in my next video. Starla says goodbye. <laughs> She's over there chilling. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye loves.